Hello everyone, welcome to Clara's Tech Hub. Today I'm going to talk about the basics of Microsoft Excel. This is a tutorial on Microsoft Excel basics and I'll talk about how to use advanced filters. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll see more and more videos. Okay, I have a list of children in my classroom, their gender, the type of scholarship and the amount of fees paid by each of them. On the previous lesson, we talked about the basic filters, where we inserted filters on our data set like this. I will highlight on the headers that I want to filter to be inserted, then click on the data, go to sort and filter group and click on filter. But there is one problem with this type of filter. For example, let me put a filter on this. I will select females, then I will select a full tuition scholarship and a half tuition scholarship like this. The problem with this type of filter is that you don't know exactly what has been selected by these filters until you hover your mouse like this. If I hover the mouse over gender, it displays equals female. Then I hover over scholarship, it will display equals full tuition or equals half tuition. Using advanced filters, I want to have full control over the filters and I can put the criteria used in separate cells. So, I want to display only the female children. So, I will write gender here, then put female. So, now I will go to data. Then go to sort and filter group and click on advanced filter. You can choose to filter the list in place and you can also copy the results to another location. You have to list the ranges and this is already selected. On the criteria range, I'll select gender and female. Uh, note that this is not case sensitive and then I click on OK. Now I have my female children and this is my selected criteria. Now I want to use the end operation. So I want female children who are under full tuition. So I'll write my selection criteria the same way I did for gender. Um, so I'll write scholarship type then full tuition. So now I'll go to data click on advanced field. On the criteria range, I will expand my selection so I will select gender, female and scholarship type for tuition and click on OK. Done! So, by selective, these two ranges imply an end operation. Now, I want to use the O operation. I want to display female children who are under full tuition or female who are under BIMA. So I will put gender female since I still want the female to be included in the selection. Then I write BIMA under scholarship type. So I will then select again and change my criteria range. Done! So by typing below, then operation and typing the size is an end operation. Now I want to show how to select unique records only from the scholarship type column. So I want them to be copied to another location. Then the list of range of the scholarship type column. So you simply highlight the whole column. Criteria range will be left empty because my criteria range is then click on OK. Now I have all the unique records of scholarship type in this column. And the unique records are full tuition, half tuition, and lima. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like. And I hope for more videos, you can subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. See you.